I, I ended that last video um, you know, about Hillary Clinton and the women's movement as being uh, silly, you know, saying silly. Now, I don't want to just end it there, okay? And I want to prove to you that that is silly, you know, as being uh, women, you know, being in charge like the president. Um, and why that's silly, you know, and why the women's movement is silly any farther than what it is now. It should go no farther than what it is now. The simple fact that, you know, back in the 60s and 50s, and whenever we had a war, it was always the women, or, yeah, right, okay. It was always the men who went to war. The women stayed home. The, the men are the ones who went to war, you know, with a gun, with, with a tank, and with the different various weapons. It's always the men, always. Why? Because they are superior. They're superior. They're born superior to women, physically. They're physically superior. They're heavier. They're bigger. They're you know, they can get have more muscle mass. No matter how much a woman exercises, they can't have as much mass as as a man does. A man will always be have more muscle mass and stronger than a woman. Always. You know. Uh, let's take Rosie O'Donnell for, you know, for Trump's example. R Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, she was big and fat, right? She can get big and fat, but as far as muscle goes, she can't, she couldn't trim, trim down and become more muscular than, say, Arnold Schwarzenegger or, or someone of her size in a man. Of her same size in a man, the man will always have more mass, more muscle, always. It's because of testosterone. And the male, you know, the male is superior to woman. That's why we can never be equal. No matter what we do, we can never be equal. It's either you're male or you're female. Whether you change your sex or you don't change your sex. You know, if, you, if I go from male to female, then I'm automatically not as superior as a male. I'm more fragile. I mean, because my body will change with estrogen treatments and male hormone blockers. My body will change as a female, and I'll drop weight. I'll go from 150 pounds to maybe 110. That's just the, that's just the, the, uh, the nature of things. When a male, change, when a male changes to female, they, they drop in weight, and, and their structure changes. Their face changes, so it's more, more pretty and more delicate. And their neck changes, and everything changes. You're changing from male to female when you when you do a, uh, when you go uh, transgender when you go transgender whether you do the surgery the, the last the last step the surgery of changing your penis to a vagina and whether you do that or not you're changing um, you're changing yourself into female so you're more fragile you're lighter you can't you can't uh, get the muscle mass of men it, we're, we're different. You, there's no way, there's no way that we can be equal, ever. There's no way a woman and man can be equal. And um, my point is, is <clears throat> every war we've ever had, it's always been the men going in there and, and you know, shooting, dying. So if, 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 let's say Hillary Clinton wants the woman's movement, okay, then I want that change. I want that change for only females, only females, not men. Let's, let's do a reversal here. Let's do a reversal. All, only, only, next time we go to war, like Vietnam or somewhere, or a scrimmage, like Vietnam, next time we go to war, I want all women, not men. Just, men can't, let's, they, let's say, men can't be drafted, okay? I, I'd agree 100% with you. And then after the, all the women get killed, then let's send the real, the real people in there. After all our women are, are gone, you know, then then let's let's do it like it's supposed to be, where where we have the the dominant the dominant person, um, the superior the superior person the male, go to war, because we are superior. There's no doubt about that. And the women's movement, the women, you know, with Hillary Clinton, the women's movement, is trying to say that's not true, and it is. It's true. It's a, it's a fact. You can't change that. All they want is all the rights and stuff and everything equal, you know, even though they're less, um, not as superior as 
the man. They're not. It's physically impossible. It's physically impossible as a woman to be superior to me. It's physically impossible. So, see, they can't change that natural, natural. That's a nature. It's a nature, natural thing that they cannot change. Now, they can change it if they change her um, from going from female to male. Now they can change it, but it's still not going to be the same as a born male. It's just like um, a born male can't ever have a kid. A female can never be um, at the level of a born male. They're still a little, a little lower in, superi in superiority. In superiority, they're lower. They always will be lower. They, lower. They, they were born that way. They're female. Why do you think they're not all just male and males just don't bang other males in the butt and, and they get pregnant? Why do you think that is? It's because the male is superior and you have to have the female. You know? Um, and you have to have the femininity. Femininity, you know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. The thing that I have a problem with is the, the woman's movement saying that they're equal when they can never be equal. They can't. It's impossible. Once a girl is born a girl, it is impossible for that girl to come to my level. At my size, my weight, it's impossible. But I can come down, I can come down to female by um, estrogen and uh, male hormone blocker. See, I can come down to male, or I can come down to female, but they can't come up to male and be a, a, a totally male. They can't. And I can't come to female and be a total female because I'll never be able to bear a child because I don't have those parts. I have to have those parts, and, I, and males, born males don't have those parts. So we're, we're equal in that respect where we can't, we can't switch like that and be exactly the same. You can't. No matter what the doctor does to you. you can't. It's impossible. But uh, that's my point. And I'm just stating fact. Like, like uh, Donald Trump always does. He always says fact, states fact and he can back what he says. He doesn't just sit there and say you know, this and that and can't back anything he says. Donald Trump can back everything he says. And he does. So, okay, that's what I wanted to add to that video because this, this clarifies that when I say it's silly, it is silly. And I'm, I'm, I'm just verifying it with this video and telling you why it is silly. But um, today is 8-11-2015. I'm done.